Hello, welcome to the demo of our updated food business toolkit. So here we have three files sa templates folder natin. One for bookkeeping, another for daily report, and the last one for the inventory management. So itong bookkeeping na file, um, optional lang siya if you want to keep it separate from your staffs. Kung gusto ninyo na kayong owners lang ang makakakita nung um, total income and expenses ninyo throughout the for the month and year but if you don't mind sharing it sa team uh, pwede lang gamitin yung daily report page since ito yung compiled version natin so let's start with that here sa first tab natin or yung start tab meron tayong different columns so yung first one is yung product categories ito yung input yung uh, categories ng products niyo, for example, appetizers, main courses, sides, and so on. Ito editable naman to. Depende kung ano yung, kung paano kayo mag-categorize ng products or items niyo. Next naman, input niyo yung mga modes of payment na acceptable sa business niyo, like yung cash, GCash, and PayMaya. Editable lang din yan. Then, nag-add din ako ng shifts na column if you want to track yung sales per shift. Then, yung last two columns natin um, for the business expenses naman. So, the first column is yung COGS or yung cost of goods sold and the other column is for the operational expenses. So, basically, yung cost of goods sold, ito yung mga expenses that is directly or are directly in, um, related dun sa pag-produce ng item. And then, yung operational expenses naman, ito naman yung mga indirect costs sa pag ng business like yung rent and utilities mga ganyan. So, nag-add ako dito ng another tab for notes kung hindi kayo familiar sa COGS and sa operation expenses so dito, andito yung explanation and then naglagay din ako dito ng mga examples okay, pero dito nag-input naman ako ng examples na lang, pero pwede nyo lang din i-edit by the way, do not forget to watch yung setup tutorial natin kasi nag-include ako dito ng step-by-step -step instruction pa separate vid na yun uh, on how to duplicate yung template and kung paano pa siya i-set up properly before you add yung data ninyo dito sa template so don't skip that para mas smooth yung workflow ninyo later on Anyway, moving on tayo sa list of products. So, dito nyo input lahat ng uh, products na yung offer ninyo. Ayan, nag-input lang ako dito ng examples. And then, yung category na drop down dito, yung mga options dito, nakadepende sa mga naka-input sa start tab. Ayan. Then, input nyo rin yung price per item. Then, nag-add din ako ng notes column dito. Ayan. Next naman is yung orders tab. So, dito nyo input lahat ng sales or orders per transaction. So, maglagay tayo dito ng example. Uh, so, before kayo maglag ng data dito, um, mag-select kayo dito ng shift. Enter nyo kung anong shift. Uh, sinong staff yung naka-assign sa paglag ng data at kung anong date. So, automatically magpa-populate later on yung data dito sa orders tab and sa sales tracker. So, let's have an example. Nampawa, order niya is sample menu A, menu B, menu C. Then, as you can see, nag-auto-populate na yung mga data sa colored field columns. Input niyo na lang dito yung kung ilan yung quantity ng orders. Ayan. Then, halimbawa, uh, may discount. Input niyo lang din kung ilang percent. Mga 20% na discount. So, automatically, matidadak na siya dun sa total. Then, input din yung mode of payment. Talimbawa, Gcash yung mode of payment niya. Input nyo lang dito yung reference number. Ref, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And, and then, click save. Ayan. So, once na na-save na siya, uh, magpapopulate na siya yung mga entries nyo doon dito sa sales tracker natin. Including yung discount. So, let's have another example naman. Bawa cash na payment naman. Menu B, menu F, menu G. So, basically lang i-enter nyo lang dito sa orders tab yung mga uh, item and quantity. Bawa. 1, 1, 1. Then, for mode of payment cash. And then, for reference number, pwede nyo lang leave it as blank kung wala namang uh, reference number. And then, click nyo lang yung save. 
tapos magpapopulate na rin niya later on dito sa sales tracker wala na kayong i-enter sa sales tracker since andun na lahat sa orders doon lang kayo mag-enter ng sales or orders ninyo then yung summary ng sales tracker mag reflect siya sa daily report page month to date dashboard and the profit and loss dashboard So, skip ko na yung sales tracker since automated naman na yan. So, sa daily tracker, magsaselect lang kayo dito ng date and then mag update na yung dashboard natin. So, uh, let's have an example for August 8. Ayan. So, yung first table dito, yung breakdown ng sales per item, kung ilan yung sold and ilan yung subtotal. Ayan, ng sales per um, item. Then, yung next table naman dito, yung breakdown ng sales Ayan, discount and total per mode of payment. Then, same lang din sa shift kung ilan yung total sales per shift. Then, sa taas, andito yung overall sales for the day. Then, nag-add din ako ng chart for the sales per shift and the sold uh, number of sold um, per item. Then, as we scroll dito sa side naman, andito na yung summary ng uh, sales for the day. Ayan. Now, If gusto ninyo na naka-separate nga yung bookkeeping file, ang gagawin nyo lang later on, ikakopy nyo lang to, ayan, dun sa bookkeeping na sales tracker. Copy nyo lang siya. Ayan, di ba, kinontrol, control C lang pag pagkakopy or command C kapag ka, um, MacBook, and then ko control E, paste special nyo lang, then values only. Then mag-auto populate na dito yung data, and mag-reflect na sa month to date and profit and loss uh, tab ng bookkeeping file. Kung gusto nyo na separate. Yan. Next naman is yung sa COGS tracker. So input nyo lang dito lahat ng expenses nyo under COGS. And then, input lang din yung mga operational expenses dun sa OPEX tab. So, dito, same ng layout lang. Input the date, the category, particulars, and the amount. Then, magre-reflect ulit yung mga inputs or entries nyo dito sa COGS and OPEX tab sa monthly dashboard and the profit and loss dashboard. Now, for the monthly dashboard, ito, mag-input lang din kayo ng month. For example, July, ayan mag reset yung data dito based sa mga entries ng uh, July. Since wala akong um, entries for July, wala nag-populate na data dito and, uh, for July. Now, if change ko to, to August, yan, mag-update ulit yung data. So, here we have a chart for the sales per category. Ayan, and then sold items per menu or per item. Then, breakdown ng operational and DCOGS expenses and then yung cash flow overview natin. Kung ilan yung sales, COGS, and the OPEX overview. Then as we scroll down, we have the total income for the month, total expenses, net income, and the profit margin for the month. Then yung first table dito, yung daily sales nyo naman. Yan, total sales per date and then merong table for the breakdown of sales per category per mode of payment, and then per shift. Then, meron din dito another table for the sales, total sales, and yung kung ilang items ang sold per item or product. Then, breakdown na expenses under COGS and the operational expenses. Now, for the profit and loss dashboard naman, ito yung overall view naman ng cash flow nyo throughout the year. So, sa charts natin, nag-add ako ng top 15 products for the year. Ayan, na-update to year to date. And then, nag-add ako ng sales overview per month. And the year to date expenses. Ito, combined na to yung COGS and the operational expenses year to date. So, sa first table, ito yung breakdown or overview ng cash flow throughout the year. Like yung sales, COGS, OPEX, net income, and the profit margin. And then, breakdown ng sales per category throughout the year. And then, yung last two tables naman is yung breakdown ng expenses throughout the year. Again, like I mentioned kanina, if you want to have a separate file for bookkeeping, ang gagawin nyo lang, didelete nyo lang tong uh, profit and loss 
monthly operational expenses and the COGS na TAMS. So, separate na lang yun. Mag, dito na yan sa bookkeeping and then ikakopy-paste nyo lang uh, yung summary, yung daily summary dito sa sales tracker. Then, update nyo lang din yung expenses ninyo per day. Kung gusto nyo lang na separate. Now, sa inventory tracker, um, dito naman yung pag-track natin ng uh, stocks, ng stocks in and stocks out. Sa first tab dito, meron tayong um, table for the product categories ng mga items or supplies ninyo, like yung raw ingredients, process and packaged goods, packaging, yung mga ganyan. Next naman is yung sa mode of payment, ayan, like cash, gcash, and baymaya, and then yung shift para ma-attract din yung movement ng stocks per shift. Then again, uh, don't skip po itong setup tutorial natin for the instructions on how to properly copy and set up the template. Next tab is yung list of items. So, dito yung input lahat ng supplies ninyo, like itong mga to, then yung category, ano yung unit ng pag-track ninyo, and then kung ilang yung minimum na item na gusto ninyong i-maintain. Para halimbawa na meet na yung minimum or less than minimum na yung stocks na available, matitrigger na yung low stock uh, low stock trigger natin. Ayan, tapos mananotify ka to restock the item. Now, for the inventory tracker, dito almost same lang nung order tracker lang natin sa daily report page. Input nyo lang ulit dito yung mga items. So, first, gagawin nyo lang dito, mag-input kayo ng date. For example, uh, August 11, kung ano, sinong stock, for example, and, and then anong shift, select nyo lang din. And kung anong uh, type of transaction, kung stocks in ba, stocks out, spoilage, kulang, or sobra. So, for example, meron dumating na uh, ito, rice, cooking oil, flour, then input ko lang kung ilan yung dumating na item na i-restock, then click ko lang tong save. Then, magpapopulate na siya dito sa database. So, same lang dun sa ibang transaction. Halimbawa, naman may a stocks out naman yung mga nagamit ninyo na items. For example, ito, may dalawang bottles na naubos for the day. Don't forget to log yung date, staff, and anong shift. Then, kung anong transaction, uh, stocks out, and then click nyo lang din yung save. Then, magpapopulate ulit yun sa database natin. Halimbawa naman, may mga expired items. Halimbawa, ito, pasta, tapos expired na limbawa tapos enter nyo lang kung ano expiration date dito um, yan. optional lang yan. then input yung date staff and shift tag, halimbawa kapag expired uh, tag nyo as spoilage yan. then click save and pag binalitakan nyo tong um, database natin ayan, nag update sya real time naman to then, dito sa sample, bawa for the month of August, ito yung, ganito yung uh, layout or setup for the monthly inventory management. So, dito yung month, business name, enter nyo lang dito. And then, yung uh, legends natin, kung in stock, green, kung restock, pink, tapos kung out of stock na, um, dark pink naman siya. Then, andito rin yung values ng mga items na in stock mga need na restock na items and kung ilan yung out of stock na items. So, dito, ang i-update nyo lang is yung initial na inventory. Ayan. The rest of the columns, automated na yan. Yan ito yung layout nya. So, input nyo lang yung kung ilan yung initial na inventory at the beginning of each month. Ayan. And then, dito, kung ilan yung stocks in, total stocks in for the month, total stocks out na nalag for the month of August, ilan yung spoilage, and ilan pa yung latest. Then, sa status, and mag update na siya. As you can see, yung mga items below the minimum value na, or minimum inventory na gusto nyo maintain, na auto-tag siya as restock. And then, kapag zero, matatag siya as out of stock, and then, mag-reflect na siya dito sa taas. Now, 
dapat at the end of every shift, ito yung latest na inventory. So, for example, ang 4pm shift, dapat ito yung latest na inventory. Now, halimbawa, for the rice, halimbawa, kulang ako ng dalawa. Ayan, kulang ako ng dalawa dun sa tracking ko. I-input ko yan dun sa inventory tracker. Ayan, kulang ng dalawa. And, uh, lagi dito kung may remarks kung bakit kulang. Ganyan. And then, input nyo dito ulit yung date. Ayan, kung anong shift siya, ay kung anong shift kulang, sinong staff ang nag-enter, and then kung kulang or sobra. And then, click ko tong save. Then, yung tinag ko or nilag ko na kulang and sobra, mag-reflect siya dun sa, uh, dito sa table natin na kulang and sobra. Or this way, makikita nyo, uh, or matatrack ninyo kung anong shift ba usually, ah, uh, may kulang and sobra ano usually yung mga items na kulang and sobra and yung mga duty na rin for that specific date yan so same layout lang siya per month yan so easy management lang siya just always put yung initial inventory at the beginning of each month or at the end of each uh, month so ganun lang if you have any questions or concerns please don't uh, hesitate to message us on Instagram or dun sa Facebook account namin yun lang po, thank you